All right, howdy folks, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are taking a quick look at this short video uploaded by the developers of Broken Arrow. It showcases the Bradley APC in some of the variants you can expect to see in game. As always, you can find a link to the game I am discussing at the top of the description. Just from this 90-ish second video, I'd like to note that the graphics seem to look way better from what we've seen thus far, and people in the comments mostly seem to agree. The sounds are great, and the music is still absolutely fantastic. So the M2A3 Bradley seems to have four different armor setups. The base one, which does not increase the cost, or a base one with an Iron Fist active protection system, adding 10 points to the cost of each unit. Furthermore, Busk Reactive Armor and Busk Armor plus Iron Fist upgrades are also available. What is off is the pricing. You'd think that if the base armor plus Iron Fist costs 10 points, as well as upgrading a base armor to Busk, that Busk plus Iron Fist would cost 20 points, not 15, but maybe there are some other balancing factors at play there. Then we get to see the M2A3 in action with some, again, amazing camera angles, and I'm really hoping we can achieve those actual angles ourselves when we get our hands on the game. Now, next up is the AMPV, or Armored Multi-Purpose Vehicle family of vehicles, based on a turretless Bradley APC. Now, I personally never heard of these until this video, but they're actually meant to replace the M113 still in service with multiple variants planned in real life, of which we will see some in Broken Arrow. First up is the M1287, which carries a 120 millimeter for heavy indirect fire support. And the exploding mortar rounds landing around these BMB2s look really good, really kind of reminding me of rolling conflict style effects. They then showcase some of the active protection system and smoke launchers on the Bradley, with an incoming missile being destroyed, as well as smoke launchers concealing the vehicle, allowing it to safely retreat. Another variant of the AMPV family, the M1283, showcased with what appears to be a reactive armor upgrade, as well as the removal of a .50 cal turret, but then adding on the R800 RWS or remote weapon system. This is equipped with a M240 medium machine gun, a 30mm autocannon, and last but not least, a mounted Javelin anti-tank launcher, probably made pretty famous due to the ongoing events in Ukraine as of late. Now, if you look closely, you can actually see the turrets from one of the BTR-80-82As fly off as a Javelin impacts it, and I've been wondering what causes turrets to fly off. In earlier gameplay, we actually saw an Apache pop the turrets of some T-72 tanks, so maybe it has to do with a maximum amount of damage being delivered to the vehicle. Some real-life AMPV variants that aren't shown in-game and we may not see in-game are two medical ones, a command one, and also a pure personnel carrier one. Now, I really doubt, again, we'll see the medical or command versions, but I wouldn't be surprised to see the regular APC version of the AMPV as an option to transport infantry around the battlefield. Now, finally, the M6 linebacker variant of the Bradley is seen in action against enemy helicopters, and this Bradley basically has the AT. GM system replaced with ground to air stinger missiles being very effective against low flying aircraft. This is just a look at a single platform in Broken Arrow, and I cannot wait to see what other interesting variants of existing or prototype vehicles we can expect to see in the game. Are you excited about Broken Arrow? I know I am. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at this footage and hope to catch you in the next one.